What's up YouTube, it's John and Gav here and we're talking Galaxy Note 7. Samsung had a press conference just the other day to say what's gone wrong with its batteries and we're here to ask, has it done enough? Has it told us enough information about what's gone wrong? And do we have enough confidence to buy another Samsung phone? So what actually happened was obvious, the Galaxy Note 7 last year caught on fire, Samsung been investigating that, and last night it got, to, got on stage with three separate experts to explain A, what happened, and B, why it's never gonna happen again. I mean, it was all sort of very like Samsung, where we're gonna improve safety, yada, 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 but it did tell us sort of exactly what happened with the battery issues. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, a couple of things. We had the first round of phones that started catching on fire, Simply put, in the top right hand corner, the batteries were bending in slightly, the plates were touching, that's not very good. Once the phones were obviously shown to have a malfunction, Samsung went away, tried to re redesign the batteries, but those ones had very short little small spikes in them, uh, and the insulating tape that was missing. Basically, again, both batteries were poorly designed. That's the key thing we're talking about here. It's not what happened, you know, these things can happen, but how did Samsung get into this mess in the first place? Absolutely, and, and they didn't say how the batteries, these you know, malformed batteries yeah. managed to get into the phones. How did they miss the supposed checks that all phones go through? There are numerous texts for every phone that goes through yeah. any manufacturer. So how did it miss out? We still don't know. And so there's still some questions, you know, while it's come out and been quite honest about what's happened to the actual batteries, it's not clear how they got even that far. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to Samsung to say they have gone through and said, you know, look, this is exactly what happened and being very open and upfront about it, explained in big detail exactly what is an eight point battery safety check. But this is a PR exercise. I mean, admittedly fair play to Samsung, we can't, can't imagine Apple doing the same thing. But this exercise is just to show, hey, don't worry, it's gonna be fine in the future. But we know the Galaxy S8 isn't gonna explode. It's like being on a plane after there's a plane crash. You go, go for the one that's had the plane crash because their safety checks are super stringent. But ultimately what Samsung has failed to do here is tell us why this happened in the first place. Was it as rumoured the fact that they saw that the iPhone 7 Plus wasn't going to be as good and there's a lot of pressure to make the Note 7 an amazing phone and out as quickly as possible to really maximise that market share and profit. If that's the case then are you confident that Samsung stopped that John? Um, I personally wouldn't be worried about picking up an S8 this year. Previous Note handsets have been fine. The S7, S7 Edge last year were fine. It was a very localised problem to just that handset. So. I, I have belief that Samsung have overcome the issues, they've added to the security checks which we assume were already very good, yeah. but they're now even better. So I do have that sort of security in my mind that it will be okay buying a Samsung in 2017. However, there is a wider issue because this wasn't just tech news, this was yeah. like front page news. Yeah. I mean, the key thing here is consumer confidence. That's all Samsung really cares about because that's going to affect the bottom line. And ultimately, consumers are going to remember that there was that Samsung phone last year that caught on fire. So all these numbers and all these checks are going to be here, but ultimately Samsung's going to have to suck up for a couple of years, understanding that consumers are going to be aware of this and it's just going to have to keep making its phones as good as possible. Because the one thing that gets people off an old problem is a new thing that's very exciting and shiny in front of them. So S8 needs to be good. No, 8 needs to be amazing. S9, S10, keep it going until it will be forgotten. But any kind of problem again, this is going to rear its head. And that's just the way it is, Samsung. That is. So let us know what you think. Has Samsung done enough? Did you want to hear more? Will you be considering the S8 or Note 8 later this year? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back again very soon for more lovely videos. Thanks.